Now, members of the Niger Labour Congress NLC and the Trade Union Congress TUC in Edo State have joined others in observing full compliance with the directives of the leadership. Some people who spoke noted that they would continue to wait until the next line of directives, as officers were seen on the lock and key. Today we have total compliance, acting on the national directives. Um, after today we'll be waiting again because um, we are aware that as of yesterday there was a deadlock. If there is any further directive, it will come from the national. So we want to um, say very clearly that the action continues until we have a national directing us to end this shutdown. It's a clear directive from our national to enforce an indefinite strike action until the two major points that have been brought to the table is uh, resolved. What are the points? The first one is that we want a livable minimum wage, which uh, our trade centers have brought before the government. And the second one is the reversal of the, uh, the, the hiked electricity tariff. The state government expressed its reservations about the strike. Of course, that we all now know is that it's a national strike. So it's not just for us alone. Um, of course, we had hoped that because we had complied, in fact, the governor had on his own, without any prompting by labor, done what he did to raise the minimum wage to 70,000 naira. We were the first state to do so, and since then, no other state has been able to do that. And then we have further raised the bar now. So we're hoping that since we have done all of that, uh, this strike would not affect us. But it's been explained to us that it's a national strike. But we're hoping that this will be resolved very quickly uh, you know, uh, so that we can return to our work. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.